Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, and I am Tony Green. We are going to have a fabulous show today. Hopefully, <laughs> I might be overstating a little bit there. Okay, so um, today I'll be taking callers live, answering their questions, uh, helping them connect to loved ones on the other side. Now, this used to be Relationship Wednesday. So if anybody does have relationship questions, I'm happy to answer those questions for them. But you can also call in or ask questions about love, career, finances. Just a little bit of um, a little something, uh, a little PSA or whatever you would call it before I get started. Um I will never reach out to anybody and ask them if they would like a session. Um, to be perfectly honest, I've been trying to take a vacation for like over a year and I'm so busy I can't. So I'm not reaching out to people asking them if they need a reading, a healing or any of that stuff. If somebody wants a session, they can contact me through my website, uh, www.tonig.info, I-N-F-O. Um, that is pretty much, or call my number 414-897-2869 and schedule or book an appointment. A lot of people want to know what are my appointments like. Um, I do them over the phone or in person. I do corporate private group and couples sessions and uh the when when I do a session it's kind of like when I'm on air for the 30 or 60 minutes you just ask me questions about your life or connect with loved ones okay enough about that we're going to start this show with a healing yes i'm so excited that we're going to start this show with a healing now every uh, Monday and Wednesday, I'm here at noon, and I absolutely love being able to do clearings, healings on everyone, because the goal here is to evolve, to grow, to learn, and I want us to be able to do that and to be able to do it together. So because this is was Relationship Wednesday, I'm going to say we have healthy, loving relationships. And this is not only with our partner, but with our, if we have children or coworkers, whatever it is, I get a no on that. So that's one of the things we're going to start clearing immediately. Throughout the show, I may do other clearings. You can listen, re-listen, watch, re-watch this show, and I'll be happy, and the clearing will work the same every time you hear it. When I call your area code, please have a very, very exact question ready, um, and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Here we go. 443, how can I help you today? Hi, I want to connect with my dad if that's possible. Sure. What's your dad's first name? Robert. Robert, and your first name is? Suzanne. Suzanne. Okay. Okay. I, I, yeah, I feel a very, um, so I see him, uh, coming in on my right. So for everybody watching on YouTube or watching on TV, cause this show does air on Roku, WSCS, it, um, it's streamed through Rude Rangers TV. It's, it's on a number of TV channels and streaming channels and almost every podcast and then YouTube. If you're watching, I'll be looking up in different areas and then pointing in different areas. And that's because that's where the loved ones and or angels are. So as your dad steps in, the first thing he does is start laughing. And he's saying, wow, what a, what a, what a I, I, oh, when people use a number of R's and W's together, I sound like um, Elmer Fudd, but what a wild, wild what a wild ride. <laughs> oh, what a wild ride. He is saying he had a, it was a, that song, A Good Life, um, 
is playing in my head. He's saying he had a really good life. There were difficult times and easy times, but he had a pretty good life. So Suzanne, I want to ask you, do you have a specific question for your dad? Uh, yeah, I'm wondering why he doesn't make the messages a little clearer for me to understand. Oh, um, yeah. You what know, do I need to do? I'm going to answer that for you and everybody listening. Uh, there's there's a number of reasons. Number one, they don't speak. They can speak the way they did. They, they basically are using telepathy now rather than full on sentences. So sometimes we hear one word. So what you need to do with your dad or any loved one on the other side is just ask yes, no questions when you first start out. Does that mean this? And then get okay. your yes or no from that. Um, if you're having more difficulty understanding, say, show me a sign and they'll literally show you billboards, license plates, uh, things falling off the wall, uh, literally. Um, and then the th or uh, okay. the answer will come through in a song. And the other way they do it is through dreams. But most of us don't remember our dreams or don't remember all the details of the right. dream. So what he saying to you right now, one of the things he wants you to be able to do is to move forward, move forward. And he's showing me putting one foot in front of the other and just take take charge. Like take he's saying take the reins and he's showing me like a, a buggy or not a buggy a, 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 or whatever. Like when you used to like have horses with reins and like snap them, he's saying, take the reins and just, um, just take God. off because this is the time there's an opening for you over the next six months where anything you try to do, if you put the effort in and you work at it, it's going to pop. It's going to take off. Now, did your dad watch what, what's, why am I hearing John Wayne, John Wayne? I feel like this should be a, a confirmation for you that maybe, uh, I don't know why, but I'm hearing that. I I I don't know why, but I'm just going to say I feel like it's a confirmation for you. Um, the other thing that I'm getting is that he or he knew somebody named John and somebody named Wayne. I don't know. Maybe they're on the other side. Maybe one or two of them are still here. I don't know, but I'm hearing John Wayne. Okay. The other thing he wants to tell you is you have the potential to do something you've been thinking about for a very long time, but you need to get on it, get on it. You need to start it now. Stop procrastinating. It's something you've been thinking about for a long time. You even kind of thought about this in childhood, but you didn't really, uh, obviously in childhood, you couldn't take action on it. But now it's it's come around again. It's come around again, and it's time for you to take action on it. Uh, step up, step out, yeah. and get it going. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> and for anybody watching me, when I'm channel for if you're not watching me. When I channel, I kind of go into this trance and I'm going, and then when the message is done, it's like, oh, it's like, <laughs> I'm not going to say what it's like, but anyway, do these messages make sense for you? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Yes. And I think I was probably as a child had the ability to contact me and interact with spirit. And I think I stopped it and I'm trying to open it back up again. Okay, so here's the deal with that. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for saying that. So when, okay, so when we're children and we have this, every single child has this ability, we're born with it. That's why babies stare off in the corner and follow things with their eyes. Um, and, and up until a certain age, we keep this ability and it's shut down for a couple of different reasons. In, in different children, it's for different reasons. So what, one of the reasons is something scares us. It just scares us. It becomes too much. We start seeing things that we don't understand and or like. Okay. The second reason is because people start to tell us that's not real. 
you've all heard the story of, oh, you're make-believe friends. Um, and they're not. They're, they're spirit friends. Oh, you're spirit friends. Could you imagine? <laughs> and then, so those are two of the most common reasons we kind of close it out. In order to reopen it for you, everybody. Oh, let's do a clearing on that. Ooh, I like it. Okay. For everybody listening, re-listening, watching, re-watching, their intuition is open. If you don't want this, just don't accept it. I know people that do not want to see dead people, do not want to hear things, and that's okay. Um, I get it. I get that you don't. But if you do, come back and listen to this until you uh, – uh, uh, anything that shut down, blocked, stopped – our abilities is now gone. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Our intuition is wide open. I get a no. Holy guacamole, folks. That is a lot of heart stuff. I'm, I'm feeling that here. And here that is a lot of um, that heart stuff going on. People think they shut down their third eye. So they work on their third eye over and over and over again. It, it, I our heart and our fear. So <clears throat> if we shut down our intuition, um, if we shut down our intuition, we sometimes end up in a situation where we are, it's because of fear or our heart. Okay. So um, please excuse the connection. Um, my internet isn't that strong. And as a matter of fact, my power went out again last night. So I'm waiting to see, hopefully we don't lose power altogether again. Okay. I live in the Midwest. It's a little cold. So when the power goes out, the heat goes out. <laughs> so it's always interesting. And it's the, it's the, uh, we energies. It's not, you know, my bill is paid. Don't ask me, is my bill paid? My bill is paid, folks. That's not the issue. The whole block went down. Um, but yeah, so if the power goes out, I apologize and I'll redo the show. But hopefully we can even just keep a good connection during the show. So Susan, uh, Suzanne, I hope this was really helpful. I hope that you, um, that, that you start to reopen it ask those yes, no questions, and just embrace. And, you know, one of the things that really affects people from opening their gifts all the, way, all the way is what we've been taught, like, we're so afraid that something ominous is going to come in and, like, work through <laughs> us, speak through us. Let that go. You know, I'm going to say angels and God, whatever you call God, just call it that. Don't send me an email on this. I won't read it. Um, they, There's nothing more powerful. You are going to have peer connection and open with divinity. <clears throat> um, and you'll be able to get those really good connections. Okay, beautiful girl. <laughs> Yes, and you think that I'm a little bit more open now after the clearing you just did? You will, yeah, you will be. It's And here's what I'm going to say. Some people, when it comes to this, because it is a fear that shut it down or whatever it was that shut it down, you might need to listen to this a couple times and get this clearing a couple of times. Whew. However, it, one it, but for some people, it's one and done. They're wide open again, and other people, they need to listen to it a couple times. But please, by all means, come back, listen again until you're at the level you want to be at, because there are different levels of intuition also. Some people can hear, some people can see, some people can feel, um, some people can, you know, the, the, some people only deal with angels and don't want to deal with um, loved ones on the other side. It's up to you how far or how much of it you let in also. And people think if they open, they have to be open to everything. You don't. I, I mean, I've been like this for a ch since I was a child. So I, I didn't really make a choice on it. It's just what was happening in my real life was a lot scarier than what was happening in my spirit life. <laughs> like, so I never <laughs> shut down any of my spirit life. Um so, so I mean, for each person, you Thank have you the so choice. Much. 
Oh, you're so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. I didn't, I didn't expect that to take uh, the time it took, but I'm so grateful that it did. I'm going to go to 415. 415, thank you for calling in. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, hi, this is Kate calling from Washington. Hey, Kate, how are you today? Good. I would like to hear from my grandfather, uh, my dad's dad, if he is around. Yeah, he stepped right in, right in front of me. As soon as you started saying it, he walked right in. Um, yeah. Aww. Kate, I want to tell you something. Please don't be offended by this. But your grandfather reminds me, uh, the person, your grand, he, he, it, this doesn't mean he is by any means. He reminds me of a, um, you know how um, an older Jewish gentleman is so distinguished um, and wise? He reminds yeah. me of that. He just stepped yeah. in like so, oh my goodness, excuse me, so distinguished and so wise and so. Get out. Filled yeah. with humility, but wisdom at the same time. And I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> like, thank you for honoring oh. me with your presence. Like, he has so, you're great. He has just oh. so much wisdom about him. And he looks up and his eyes just sparkle. Okay, so do you have a question for him? Um, anything about my next, um, living situation what they see for me yeah you're moving in a month to a month and a half you need to get on it you need to keep looking again this whole relocation thing you need to be open to places outside of where you are um i can't yeah. even believe i'm about to say this oh my goodness <laughs> I don't, I don't I don't think I've ever recommended this to anybody but I'm going to I think there's I keep here in Utah Utah now here's here's what they're telling me about Utah and you have to check this out for yourself okay um Utah has a, and I'm channeling this so I it is what it is and you can check it out and see what you yeah. think uh, Utah has wide, I'm hearing that yep. song, wide open spaces. Um, the cost of living is really low. Um, and you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. I'm also hearing it has the same scenery or atmosphere as some of the other places that you've been. But the bigger thing is the the per dollar per capita type of thing going on there and the work you do you're going to be able to do from any place uh it's just going to be like a hub you're not going to be there often so don't worry about it uh you're and and utah puts you a little bit more central so you can go west north south wherever you want to go a little bit more i don't know i don't want to say easily but um yeah, I feel like if you go there, it will be a good choice. I feel like it will be a good a good landing space. It doesn't mean you're going to be there forever. I do feel it is a little bit more earthy for you, and you kind of will embrace that, okay? I do feel like don't worry about the work situation because whatever you're going to do, you're going to be doing it from home, and it's going to hit worldwide. So don't worry about that. Oh. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> that was, thank you. I got all that. Excellent. Excellent. I want to thank all the loved ones that are coming in today because I just, I, I, their energy is so empowering and so beautiful. I love it. So, okay, Kate, thank you so much for calling in. I do want to get to the next um, person. So I'm going to go to 530 immediately. 530, how can I help you today? Hey, it's Sherry. I was wondering if you can get in contact with my mother. Yeah. Okay. Sherry, um, can I get your mom? Can 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 I get your mom's first name, please? Carolyn. Carolyn, thank you. Okay. Carolyn. Uh, was Carolyn. She, 
Okay, I'm seeing two women here, and I know one of them's your mom and one of them's your grandmom, but I kind of feel like your grandmom might have stepped forward first, and your grandmom was a little bit, was, was okay, which one of them was a little bit bosomy? <laughs> bosomy. <laughs> I didn't understand you, what? Yeah, that's because I made up a word. <laughs> um <laughs> which, which one of them had like and for those of you watching I'm sorry I am like point I know you're on on the phone and you can't see me but I'm pointing to my chest which one of them had like you know a healthier top half I don't know <laughs> oh lord which one of them one of them that ha seemingly has a bigger bosom is stepping forward first and then but they're both here the the mom and the grandma and what i want to say is they want you to know that they're with you all the time um they want you to know that you um that that you are going to have some changes coming in and some choices to make. Now, before I get into that, let me ask, do you have a question for your mom? When am I moving and where? And mom. why is this happening? Um, you're, oh, I don't know that I can answer all of those. I can tell you when, I, when you ask, when am I moving? I hear March. Where they say it's up to you, but you need to get on it. You cannot procrastinate anymore. Stop worrying about why things are happening. Take control of your life and get on how you can get ahead of it. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't want to minimize what you're going through, but it's like a torn. They're saying your, your, your mom's are saying it's like a tornado when the tornado comes you take shelter then afterwards you just get up there and you do the cleanup you don't worry about why the tornado happened you just got to get on it and get moving okay or if a tornado is coming you have to get ahead of it so whatever your person personal situation is the biggest thing they want to say to you right now is um get, Get ahead of it. Get ahead of it. Because whoever, whatever your situation is, they're not playing. They are not playing and you are not staying. Um, and I'm sorry it's coming through so strong or seemingly harsh, but it's really important for you to grasp the gravity of this. We can you know what? Here's what your mom's saying, and I'm sorry I have to use these words. These are not my words, folks. Don't come at me saying, you were a little bit mean. Whatever. You move. You can feel sorry for yourself and figure out the whole situation of why all this went down. Until you move, pack, find a place, and get on it. Get control and get ahead of it, okay? Um, I do That's feel like this problem, I can't find a place. Then you need to listen. The, here's what I say all the time. If there is not a place in your area, go outside your area. Maybe this is the universe's way, your mom's way, your grandmom's way of saying, you're not living in the right city. You're not living in the right state. You're not living in the right area. If you can't find a place or you can't find a place within your budget, you're not in the right place. You need to move to where you are with, you can find a place. Just like I tell people, if you can't find a job, move to where a job is or create a job. You need to move to where you can find a place. Don't, I, I, and I'm going to tell you what they're saying again, and I cannot be more clear about this. Get off your booty, not their exact quote, by the way, and get outside your comfort zone. Go outside your parameter and find a place. Now, you can't afford to, to move outside the city, the state. Well, you can't afford to be homeless either. Your mom or your grandma is a really tough talker. That's all I'm going to say about this. One of them is a really tough talker. I'm going to tell you, you, you need to get on this and 
you need to get again i they're just repeating it so i'm going to i'm going to let you know i i really am grateful that you called in and i'm going to clear a path i'm going to try to clear a path that she's finding the right place for you any buddy else looking for a place to rent or own or find just the the next right home uh you're finding it i get a no let's clear that to a yes and really be open to starting your life over Sometimes we just have to start our life over and it is the absolute best thing we've ever, ever, ever done. Sometimes we get to move to a new place, get a new job and recreate our whole amazing life or recreate our life into an amazing life. So that's what your mom and your grandma have to say for you. I am going to go to the very, very, very next caller. Who is 610? 610? Six, six, what do you mean by that? You mean, are you calling the rules of that? Or are you calling the level? Okay. All right. 610. Every, every show lately, I get on a call and somebody's talking to somebody else. What up, folks? If you have your hand up, pay attention. Okay. 519. Hey, 519. How can I help you today? Thanks, Tony. It's Jennifer calling from Canada. Hey, Jennifer. How can I help you? Um, I just want to know, is my karma completed with my ex-husband? Yes, with your ex-husband. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you, folks. Everybody listening, re-listening, uh, watching, re-watching. Let's clear some karma. How about that? that okay so we have <laughs> bad karma coming our way let's clear that let's dissolve it into nothingness um you know it's funny everybody thinks of karma as always something negative but there's good karma too okay we have really good karma that can come our way so we are experiencing our good karma i get a no Let's heal that. Let's clear that. Let's open that pathway for that good karma to come in. Because just as much as we may have made a mistake in the past, we've done a lot of really good things. And we don't think about, like, I did all these good things. I put up with all this stuff. Well, let's not put it that way. But we did. We do really good things on it, sometimes on a daily, weekly even if we just did one good thing, let's balance that out and bring that good karma back to us. But we do, we do good things all day, every day. Sometimes just not, you know, going off on somebody who's really deserves to be gone off on. It's a good thing. We deserve good karma for that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> your karma with your ex is done. You could... You, you do not owe anything. I, this is the statement I'm getting for you. You do not owe anything to anyone for any reason whatsoever. Okay, love? You are good. You are solid. Take your steps forward and, you know, create from the knowing that you have paid, like, paid your debt to society and now you can just skate. Does that make sense to you? That makes lots of sense. Actually, his mother's been coming through a lot, and it sounds like you've got the mediumship thing going on right now. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, and I'm loving it. <laughs> okay. Okay, folks, I want to thank you, Jennifer, for calling in. It's always a pleasure and an honor to take everybody's phone call that I get to take. I'm going to quickly say, Mimi, I love you. Um, Patrick, thank you so much for coming in. Hugs back at you. Uh, Fawn, uh, thank you. I'm so happy you're here. So everybody, thank you for joining me today on the show.